Hello everybody, it is I, Zini. Now, as you can see, right here in front of me is this package. And inside, I have some R1 Prime Knit NMD. The red colorway that released January of this year. But before I get into the unboxing, let me tell you the horror story of buying these. So I bought them off of adidas.com. They were half off from 170, so $85. Now, after I bought them, I went over the shipping information and our zip code is 99504. I accidentally put 99502. So of course I freaked out and I was like, oh no, they're gonna send it to some other house and they'll probably just keep the NMDs for themselves. Now they had a link to see, you know, where they were shipping to. And so when I clicked on the link, even though it was 99502, uh, our house popped up. So I was like, okay, so hopefully they'll just, you know, come here instead of like somewhere else. Well, as you can see, uh, they marked out the 02 and put a 04. So it's all good. And uh, I have them right here. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Heavy Don't play with knives. Very dangerous. And here we are. So here is the black box that the NMDs come in. Let's open it up. Here they are. There's my brother in the back. If you can see. I already got a pair. Yes, he did. He he got uh, a pair of NMDs. Uh, they were uh, the pink and black colorway. So here we have the NMD R1 SCLT Prime Knit. So as you probably already know, the whole entire upper of the shoe is made of Prime Knit. If you don't know what Prime Knit is, it's supposed to be a super flexible material, which it is, and it is supposed to be long lasting. I got the red colorway, as you can see. So the front part right here is solid red, but then up here, and it goes all the way around the shoe, there is some blue in the black, if you can see that. And then there are black stripes going over the red. On the back of the shoe, there is this hard piece of plastic that is sewn onto the prime knit. It has the words Adidas and then the Adidas logo. And then right above this hard piece of plastic, there is a pull tab. And on the pull tab, it has the words, the brand with the three stripes. Now moving inside of the shoe, there are these pentagon shapes that are cut out of the insole. I don't exactly know why like Adidas did this but it's also on the bottom of the shoe. And as you can see, they also have boost printed on the insole. I had to use this light because it's super dark in here. Moving down the shoe to the midsole, they have these two bars right here that you will pretty much find on any NMD. They also have one other bar on the other side of the shoe. The midsole is made of Adidas's famous boost that has been going strong for like about six years. If you don't know what boost is, it's like a super shock absorbent uh, material and it is actually quite comfortable, which is probably why uh, it's been going on for so long. One thing that I like about the boost is how it has like all these cracks in the midsole. The reason those are there is because Boost actually comes in like little pellets and then they mold those little pellets together to make midsoles for like NMDs and like Ultra Boost shoes. And I just like how there are cracks in the midsole because it kind of like stands out and it also looks pretty cool to me. Moving down to the outsole of the shoe, as you can see, they have more pentagon shapes cut out of the outsole. Like I said before, I don't know why Adidas did this, but it looks cool. Now, as you can see right here, this part of the outsole is not connected to this part of the outsole. The reason I'm pointing this out is just because I think the whole entire outsole would be better and more strong if it was just all one piece, if you know what I mean. But on this piece of outsole, they have the words Adidas, and then they have the Adidas logo, and then they have the words, the brand with the three stripes, and they also have it in Japanese, I believe. French, I believe, and one more language that I don't recognize at all. One problem with the shoe is that the shoelaces 
are very tight in there so it's kind of hard to tie the shoe but I think they will become like more or less tight uh, you know the more you tie them it doesn't really matter because you can easily slip in to the shoe like a sock shoe and it is very comfortable and it's not hard to get your foot in there at all because of the prime knit which is very stretchy and flexible and the shoe it does fit true to size I would say so now I'm going to put these on my feet and uh, see how they look. 